Today I'll show you how to make cool Barbie bags. The bags that you can get usually from the shops are plastic and you can't open them or put things in them. So I decided to make my own Barbie bags, which you can put things in. You can put books in there, food in there. They're really fun to make. You can paint in them with pens. We don't have any craft stores here, but if you have a craft store next to you, then you can buy beads to put on your bags, or little decorations, or you can cut out flowers and hearts and glue them on your bags, or put glitter in them to make them look really special and really cute. What do you need to make your bag? You need a material for your bag. That can be a new material that you buy from a craft store or a fabric store, or you can use an old piece of clothing that you don't need anymore to cut out some material for your bag. If you use a white material, then you can paint on it with pens to make interesting designs. Just make sure that you let your ink dry and that you test it with your finger to make sure it doesn't come off before you give it to your dolls. You need something to make a bag shoulder strap for your bag. That can be a ribbon or a hairband. You can buy a new hairband or you can use an old one which you don't need anymore. Or a strap from some clothing that you don't need anymore. Then you need a thread and a needle if you're going to sew your bag. You can also glue your bag instead of sewing it if you really hate to sew. The seams will be a bit more stiff, but it will also look nice. So experiment and see which way you like to do it best. Use a strong glue, because otherwise it might fall apart, especially if it's hot weather. And if you want to put glitter on it, then use a glitter glue. And if you want to have a flap that can close, then you need some snaps too, or some Velcro. So let's get started. I'm folding my material over once, and then from the top I'm going to fold down again, because I'm going to make a bag with a flap, like the first bag that you saw. I'm measuring it against my doll, and making sure that it's wide enough for my book to fit in there. Now I'm cutting it, and cutting it some more. Depending on how you cut it, if you cut it very narrow or very wide, you can get a thin, tall bag or a wide, fat bag. Now I'm drawing with a light pencil the design of the flap. You can make a square flap, you can make a triangular flap, a zigzaggy flap, or one with any shape that you want. Now I'm cutting it out and cutting it some more to refine its shape a bit further. And cutting it even some more. For some reason, when I first filmed it, the camera was not filming, so I had to redo it. Therefore, you see I'm using a different strap and the material looks a tiny bit different too. But it's the same principle anyway. So I'm threading my needle, then I'm taking both ends of the thread together and making something like eight or nine knots. Just to make sure that when I start sewing, it doesn't start to unravel. There. Now, this is how I sew. There's different ways to sew, but I find this is the easiest method. Pass your needle through the fabric, and make sure that you're sewing on the wrong side of the fabric. That means, if the fabric has a prettier side, turn it inside out before you start sewing. So, it's quite easy actually to sew. All I do is I stick my needle through, slowly, so I don't poke my fingers, and then make a loop with the thread, and pass the needle through the loop. Just like this, a loop, and then pull the needle and pass it through. If you pull too tight, your thread will get all bunched up and your bag will look kind of lumpy and not so nice. So just don't pull too tight and use some fabric that you don't care for so much to practice until you get your sewing right. It takes a little bit of time, a bit of patience, but in the end you'll get it. So I'm racing it ahead a bit so you don't have to get bored. And when I reach the end of my sewing, I pass the needle a few times through the loop to make an extra strong knot. I tug it a bit, then I cut off the extra thread, and using the two end thread parts, I make a series of knots to make sure my, my sewing doesn't start to unravel again. Then cut off the extra fabric and sew the other side too. When you're done, turn your bag inside out. You can gently tug the sides if they got a bit lumpy to straighten them out. And as you see here, because we sewed it, the, the top flap is now a bit too wide. So I'm cutting that off just a little bit to make it look perfect. And that looks good. Now I'll show you how I sew on the shoulder strap. 
which is really easy actually. Just hold it there where you want it to be and use the same color thread as your material so it doesn't stick out. All I'm doing is passing needle through from one side to the other and through again. A little bit higher when I pass it through a little bit lower so it keeps it in place. Keep doing this until you feel that the shoulder strap is sewn tightly into place and won't come off when your doll wears it or if she has some heavy weight in her back. Then when you're done, cut the thread and make some knots. Then cut away the extra thread you don't need and see how long you want your strap to be before cutting it and sewing it onto the other side. Make sure that you sew it on straight because if it's twisted when you sew it on it will be twisted afterwards and that won't be nice. Now you can decorate your bag with anything you want from beads to glitter to cut out hearts or to flowers. I cut out a heart here and I'm gluing it onto the back of my bag. I'm using a silicon glue but you can use any glue that works for you. I want my bag to open and close and keep what's inside of it in, so I'm using snaps to accomplish that. You can also use velcro, though I did try to use velcro and it didn't work too well, but maybe my glue wasn't good or my velcro wasn't good. So you see here, I'm threading my needle and I'm marking where I want the bottom snap to be. I'm holding the snap to the top and starting to sew it on. Sewing on snaps is pretty easy, all you do is Pass your needle through the holes and out through a different hole and then in again through one hole and out through a different hole. That keeps it in place tightly. You have to do this a few times until it's all threaded up and held into place. Then once you're done, cut off the extra thread and make some knots. Best to use the same color thread like your bag so it doesn't stick out too much. Do the same for the snap that will be on the bag. And then when you're done, remember cut the thread and make some knots. So to cover up that, that sewn part where we made the snap on the other side, I'm going to make a purple heart, cut it out and glue it on top of there. tapping it down to make sure that it sticks nice and well to it and then once it's dry I'm painting some glitter glue on top of it to make it look pretty and special. Now I'm painting red glitter glue on the pink heart. Then once you're done decorating your bag, let it dry and you're done! Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun crafting! Subscribe for more tutorials because I will be making more tutorials and publishing them every Wednesday. Until next time, have a great week!